Okay. If you don't mind, Coach, because I would like to talk to you about the, the schedule, non-conference schedule for Lamar. But please, if you can, just share some thoughts on Reggie Cheney. Ooh, man. Um, that is um, – that was a that was a tough one. Um, I got the phone call uh, from someone on staff there, you know, right after they found out if it happened. My last year at Houston was, of course, 2021, which is the final four year. That was Reggie's first year at Houston. So Reggie was um, in my uh, position group, whereas, you know, we as coaches, we had different guys who worked out. So Reggie was in my group that I worked out with. And I posted a picture of our little group. Uh, on social media recently after Reggie passing, uh, it was um, Reggie, um, Bryson Gresham, uh, Keyron Powell, Caleb Brudu, and the year before, Chris uh, Harris was in that group. But And then, of course, Reggie came in, and it was unique how I think Coach Sampson mentioned it, but Reggie was at Arkansas for two years, and after Fabian White tore his ACL in late May, and then we, we really kind of needed a guy. Mm -hmm. uh, to come in and fill in. And so uh, we're able to get Reggie. And so I was able to work with Reggie and I was kind of talking to my, my team here just the other day about just, man, how fragile life is. Reggie was 23 years of age. He was scheduled to leave for Greece today uh, to go play overseas. Uh, first one in his family to graduate college. Um, you know, and Reggie, as I explained to him, Reggie was just a quiet guy. Uh, but Reggie was everything that you would want in a basketball player. That is, he was coachable. Uh, Reggie was the same whether he, he knew he was starting or whether he was coming off the bench. And it didn't matter whether you played him early in the game, late in the game. Uh, he, every day he showed up to practice. I mean, never complained. Great teammate, great guy to coach. Um, he's kind of what you want, like, um, you know, uh, a guy that you can kind of build things around because you didn't have to run any plays for him offensively, uh, for him to be satisfied or playing hard and have a good attitude. He just brought his hard hat every day um, and just was a great guy to have in the program. And I think the guy was telling Coach Sampson early on when he was we were recruiting him that he was, Reggie was a great fit for program and and he absolutely was um and after i left you know i noticed you know they got josh carlton and some other guys and so coach sampson needed him to come off the bench well you know reggie didn't change mm -hmm. you know i just watched him play and he's the same got six men of the year in the american conference this past year um and you know i thought he was being rewarded for his selfless efforts and his work and his sacrifice with the contract to play overseas in greece which is one of the better leagues overseas. So um, to see a young man like that, to, you know, him kind of all of a sudden you wake up one day and he's no longer with us. I mean, that's it's impactful for a lot of reasons. I mean, but, you know, as I told our guys, man, you know, God makes no mistakes, but man, um, you didn't know this guy, but let me tell you about who he was, mm -hmm. you know, and I just start telling about how to, what a worker he was how unselfish he was, uh, what a team guy he was. And he was all about playing for the coach in the program. And um, he wasn't into the, to the me or the I thing. I mean, he just, he just wasn't, that's just not who he was. And, um, you know, if you could, you know, it's tough to hear it. We lost Reggie, but if you hear how speak, people speak of Reggie, if you looked at his, looked at his senior night tribute from coach Sampson, the coaches, the players, what I'm say saying about him having, having coached him for a year and how people talk about him now that he's gone. I mean, what would they, I mean, what would they say about any of us after we leave? If we, if we made that kind of mark, right. Reggie has made a mark to where he will be remembered forever, you know, and my, my heart, and my mind, you know, just by everything that he did, what he exemplified, you know, that kind of thing. So tough loss, man, tough loss. I, I heard for Reggie, his family, uh, Coach Sampson, the Houston family, I was, I was a part of it for a while 
a long time. And as I saw you over there when I went to watch him practice a few weeks ago, brought my staff over there. So obviously being a native of Houston, I spent 23 years as a coach in the program. So, you know, it's, it's, it's my hometown. It's kind of important to me. So it was, you know, it was really, it was a part of the Houston family, the Cougar family. So it's always tough when you lose a family member, you know? Thank you for that coach. Uh, you know, clearly that was not, the plan for the discussion topic of discussion for t for today have you on the show mm -hmm. so just briefly if you can who you got your non-conference schedule um well um we uh this is actually the better best schedule that i've had since i've been here the first year um we kind of inherited some guys some teams and so we was on the road man i don't know for man it seemed like four or five weeks we played one game and it was gone for a while. So this schedule is better. So we'll open up at home with a local team, St. Thomas, University St. Thomas, mm -hmm. local team. And then uh, in an, it's an exhibition, actually. Then we'll play Jarvis Christian at home at the week after that. And then we go on the road and it kind of really starts. So we play at SMU, which will be a really tough game against the American Conference team. And then we'll play Texas San Antonio, which um, has moved up in leagues. Um, mm -hmm. It's American. And we'll play them early in the schedule at our place. And then we'll return the game later in December at their place. So we'll okay. play at UTSA home in a way, uh, which I think is a good, really good series for us. It's in state and it's good competition. Get us ready for conference. We'll go to West coast and we'll play uh, at Pacific. Uh, that is a return game. They came here this past year uh, in that league. And it's a, it's a good game for us out there. Uh, we'll play in the, these multi-team events they call them um, mm -hmm. you know, tournaments, and we'll play the one in Longwood uh, in Virginia, and that'll be Thanksgiving week. And okay. we'll play um, Bethune, Cookman, Longwood, and then Delaware State, and that, and we'll come back, and then we'll go to UTSA, return that game, and then we play at Sam Houston State, which is right down the road. Another team that was formerly in the Old Southland is now they went to WAC. My first year here, we went to WAC with them and then they because moved up to conference USA so we'll play them and then we'll close out the schedule with Louisiana Monroe uh here uh Southern Miss here who won their league uh last year in the Sun Belt uh at both of those games at home though and then we uh go to LSU right before Christmas and play play there so I think it's a really good schedule for us our last non-conference game will be Paul Quinn at home but it's a really good schedule for us because we're playing uh American Conference teams, Conference USA teams, um, play a SEC team. Um, and, you know, we are on the road a little bit, but not 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 nearly as much as before, um, which, you know, we can we can manage that. We got to the West Coast for one game, um, travel to Dallas, play SMU. We'll travel just, you know, Baton Rouge, not far from here, LSU play there. And then Virginia's a long trip, you know, in Thanksgiving week. Uh, we'll play that tournament, but they're all games that are help prepare us for conference play in the Southland Conference, and so, and we have a, a good number of home games, so, and and three neutral site games, so I, I'm I'm excited about that schedule, especially with this team that we have this year. Was be my third year. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We're going to do it again if you don't mind. Yeah, we'll do and it. Again. We have more time and and. Yeah, less somber. Yeah, 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 and and uh, we'll be good. I appreciate you having us because this is going to be this will be our best group. This is our best team, and Excellent. so we we have eight returners, and we haven't had returners since I've been here. We have eight returners. Uh, got some and did we did well in the transfer portal, and uh, so we we're not going to be small anymore. We have good size. Uh, we're not young anymore. We have some experience, but even though we only have two seniors, but um, we, we, this will be a good year for us. So looking forward to talking to you again.